A large grass fire threatens homes at Digger's Rest. Trump blocked. A US court halts the president's travel ban amid confusion over the extreme vetting of refugees. Outfoxing Foxtel. Boxing fans face legal action for streaming the bout online. And shut the gates. Is that capacity? Yeah, yeah, it is that Sorry, capacity. guys. Fans locked out as large numbers turn out for the first AFL Women's League game. Good evening, Tamara O'Dyne with ABC News. A large grass fire has been edging towards homes at Diggers Rest on the city's northwest fringe. Our reporter Karen Percy is there. So Karen, have firefighters had any luck bringing this fire under control yet? Absolutely, it has been contained and, and this morning at about 11am that fast moving grass fire took hold here at Diggers Rest. We had the CFA, the Metropolitan Fire Brigade as well as Parks Services and other agencies uh, respond. There are about 30 houses in this vicinity, we're told that those people who were home uh, went willingly. We also understand that the Organ Pipes National Park was closed uh, this morning, it's not only a couple of kilometres away from here. In all about 110 hectares of land was burned in this uh, uh, operation. It was farmland, it was bushland and forest land and in fact we understand the fire was stopped just short of a sawmill up the gully. There were some 35 ground appliances here at the time. Uh, fairly difficult terrain for a lot of them. Uh, hilly, it's rough and in fact if it weren't for the seven appliances in the air, there were three surveillance aircraft and four that were doing the water bombing and the like, this might have been a much, much difficult uh, much more difficult uh, fire altogether. In all, it was uh, well over four hours before they were able to contain it. But in all of that, only one shed was in fact damaged. Now, there were the crews were quite limited in what they could do. They couldn't get in because of the terrain with their trucks and on foot. And, and uh, they, there were also some other difficult conditions for the CFA. As you can see and feel today, the, the wind has been uh, quite strong. It's changed direction several times today and that creates uh, conditions for firefighters which uh, concerns to our safety but, but also makes it more difficult in fighting the fire and it creates concern for the community. The fire crews have done a great job in minimising uh, property loss and damage. To this point in time we've had one property affected and uh, anecdotally that's a shed's been burnt. I don't know the damage or the cost at this point but to this uh, point in time there's been no other property losses. And Karen do we know how the fire started? Well, it's not 100% clear yet exactly what happened, but just a couple of paddocks away from where I'm standing is uh, one of those ride-on mowers sitting in the middle of a burnt-out paddock, and that was certainly uh, under discussion at some stage today whether a spark from that mower may well have uh, uh, kicked off some of this. But the, the CFA at this stage is not confirming what ha has happened exactly. That'll be part of the investigation. But it is contained, as I say. The uh, roads have been opened. The Buller Diggers Rest Road is reopened. People have come back to their homes. We've seen the odd sheep come back to this. This uh, market garden, for example, we'll also uh, have crews here overnight. They'll be uh, keeping an eye. It's a 7.5 kilometre long perimeter of this fire, so and there are still some hot spots. So they'll be keeping an eye on that. And then later tonight, perhaps in the morning, we might hear when the Organ Pipes National Park might reopen. Karen Percy at Diggers Rest. Thank you.